Around a year ago, I made a video where I compared three major LEGO sets against each other when it comes to the LEGO investing. Which one of these sets is likely to grow in value the most? And those sets that I compared were the Stranger Things Upside Down, the LEGO Star Wars UCS A-Wing, and the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. And I made this video in September 2021, just before all three sets retired at the end of 2021. Well, now it's a year later and these sets have been retired for around nine months. So I wanna do a quick check-in on the price. What are they currently doing right now in the aftermarket? How much are the prices increasing on these sets? If you invested in these sets before they retired, how much money are you currently making? Now, when I made that video, I did get some comments asking, why did I not include the Lego Ideas Pirates of Barracuda Bay in that analysis and why didn't I include the modular building the corner garage because both of those sets were also retiring so in this one I'm going to include those and now we've got five large Lego sets that retired at the end of 2021 that are in the 200 to 250 dollar price range and I'm going to compare them against each other as to what are the current prices on eBay in recent sales so when I actually look at recent sales on eBay in the US market what are these prices currently at how much of a return on investment Investment did Lego investors get if they bought these sets at full MSRP and I'm gonna rank these five sets from which one has done the worst to which one has done the best in terms of return on investment in just nine months of retirement now before I jump into that I do want to call out nine months is not a very long time for Lego investors and so it is early days still and a lot of you out there who are investing in Lego sets to watch them grow in value after retirement you may have a longer term horizon for your Lego investments. Maybe you hold for a year or two years or three years. Whatever your strategy is, just keep that in mind when you're looking at these prices because these prices are not done growing. And then the other thing to call out, of course, is that these are recent sale prices on eBay in the US. If you sell on a different marketplace like Amazon, the prices are actually higher. If you sell on Bricklink, the prices may be a little lower. And if you sell in other marketplaces around the world, it's worth checking what these prices are in your marketplace because they will be different. Now, before we jump in, I do wanna ask you, please hit that like button if you like these market update kind of videos and uh, let me know that you like them so I'll make more of them in the future. And with that, let's jump in now and look at these five sets and what are the return on investments after nine months of retirement. And first up, we have the UCS A-Wing in fifth position here. So this is a $200 Lego set from the Star Wars theme, of course. UCS is the ultimate collector series of sets and they are notorious for growing in value so a lot of people had high hopes for this set at the same time a lot of people didn't really like this set who were UCS fans and collectors they didn't think that this was a good enough depiction of the A-Wing and so there was some negativity around it but for me I was a big fan of this set um, I have two of them sitting next to me of course but it does come in fifth place on this list of five large Lego sets when it comes to return on investment uh, right now on eBay this set is selling for around $300 now that's still not bad in nine months right the MSRP was $200 and if you sold it today for 300 after you pay your selling fees, you would be making a profit of around $55, of course, because we do need to pay eBay some fees and different things like that. So you're making $55 approximately, which is a return on investment of 28%. Still not bad for a nine month hold time. And again, that's assuming that you paid full MSRP for the set. If you got it at a discount, then you're making a pretty good return on investment on this set. Or if you got a gift with purchase with it, and then you can sell the gift, then you're doing pretty well for this set as well. And again, only nine months. It's very, very early and this set will continue to grow in value. So $300 current price on the UCS A-Wing. And moving into fourth position now, what do we have next? We have the Corner Garage. This is the LEGO Creator Expert Modular Building, set number 10264. The modular buildings are another series of sets that are very kind of known and notorious amongst the Lego investing community. That is because some of them in the past have reached incredibly high valuations. Uh, the, the Corner Garage right now is selling for around $320 on eBay around nine months after retirement. Now, if you paid full MSRP for this, you paid $200. So if you sold it for $320, then your profit after you pay your fees is around $72. 
dollars. Now I'm saying around and approximate because it can vary just a little bit. For example, I don't account for inflation because it is only nine month hold time here. And secondly, I also don't account for things like credit card points and VIP points that you may have gotten when you bought the set. So, so there's a few different variables here, but they kind of cancel each other out and they're not going to sway things too much in either direction. So you're going to make approximately $72 in profit. Now that's a return on investment of 36% on the corner garage after around nine months in retirement if you sold it for $320, which again is around the average of recent sales on eBay. Moving into third position, we have the Lego Ideas Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Now this is a very, very hot set. A lot of Lego investors were very, very sure about this one um, this time last year. I had so many comments on my videos talking about this set, asking me about this set. And uh, it has been doing pretty well, right? So it's set number 21322. MSRP again, $200, the same as the last two sets. And the current price on eBay in the US for this one, and again, this is recent sales, is around $350. Now, that will be a profit per unit, and I say per unit here because maybe you bought more than one unit, okay? So maybe you're not just making $100. If you bought five of these, you're making $500, right? So it is important to imagine what's possible with Lego investing when you invest in more than just one unit. But if you did just buy one of these, you'd be making $97.50 on it. That's if you paid $200 for it and sold it for $350 after you've paid your selling fees. That's a return on investment of 49% on this, again, after a nine-month hold time. This is getting into pretty good numbers at this point. You're making 50% return almost in not even a year on Pirates of Barracuda Bay on eBay. This is eBay prices, so this is totally doable. And you could sell this at 350 and make 49% on your money. Again, that's if you paid full MSRP and maybe you got a discount on it. At that point, you're doing really, really well on Pirates of Barracuda Bay. So what do we have left? Of course, we have just two sets left. That is the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage and the Stranger Things Upside Down. Which one do you think is in number one? Let's look at number two here. We have, of course, the T-Rex Rampage. So this is the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. And the really kind of great thing about this set is that it is, of course, in the Jurassic World theme, but it is depicting a scene from the original Jurassic Park movie, which is rare in Lego sets. And so there was a lot of excitement about this set and uh, for good reason. Now, this is set number 75936, and it had an MSRP of $250, so it was more expensive than the other four sets on this list uh, with a higher MSRP. But it's not that far out, so I think it's definitely worth comparing to them. The current price on this on eBay is $440. The supply on this set has really been constrained. This set actually sold out before the retirement date. I think it was around October or November this started really selling out. Uh, in 2021 so the supply has been quite low on this and it is showing in those prices the profit per unit on this if you sold it on ebay for 440 dollars will be 124 dollars per unit if you paid full msrp of 250 dollars on it and that is return on investment of 50 percent slightly slightly higher than pirates of barracuda bay on this one of 50 percent return and of course, this just leaves one set. And in number one on this list is, of course, the upside down Lego Stranger Things. This is the top performer so far out of these five higher priced Lego sets that retired at the end of 2021, according to their current eBay prices around nine months after retirement. This is set number 75810. And of course, based on the Stranger Things TV show, which has seen a massive surge in demand this year when they dropped season four, which has been a fan favorite, very, very well received. And uh, this set has received a massive price bump as a result of that. It had an MSRP of $200 and uh, right now on eBay, it's selling for around $460 in recent sales. If you sold it for $460, that's a profit per unit of $191, almost doubling that $200 that you spend on the set. That's a return on investment of 96%. And again, that's if you paid full price. If you got a little bit of a discount on this, you have doubled your money in nine months on the LEGO Stranger Things set. So this is a really strong performer this year. Again, the new season of the show really changed everything for this. We have massive increases in, in demand for this set because there's not many other Lego sets out there based on the Stranger Things. We've only got one other set and that's a Brickhead set. So if you want these minifigures, for example, you have nowhere else to go. You just got to go to buy this set or, of course, buy them on Bricklink directly. 
And so this set has massive, massive demand, but the supply has not been able to keep up with it. And that has led to the price shooting up on this set since the show dropped around halfway through this year. And that sustained demand on that show up until today has really helped to lift this price up. So when we revisit these sets that we talked about about a year ago, Stranger Things Upside Down is in the number one position. That is actually what I predicted in that video that I made around a year ago as well, because the signals looked really strong on this set. The demand looked high. Uh, it was actually selling at a very, very fast sales rank at the time, and that was before the new season of the show even came out. So I did have a feeling that the new show would lead to that increased demand, and the supply looked also quite low when you looked at different places like Amazon, eBay, and Bricklink. So in that video, I did talk about how I felt like this was going to be the best performer out of these sets. However, I did not expect it to do just as good as it did. This definitely surpassed my expectations. I think it surpassed a lot of people's expectations in how fast this set has more than doubled in price. Now, of course, there are many other sets in this price range that we could talk about that retired at the end of 2021. A big one that comes to mind for me is the 1989 Batmobile, of course. That was around a $200 price point, and right now on eBay, I think it's selling for around $420, which is a return on investment of somewhere around 75 to 80%. Uh, after fees so that is definitely a big one as well that we could include in this list and there's also lego technic sets and all sorts of other sets that we could be looking at here but i just wanted to look at these five because they were a hot topic and kind of a lot of conversation about a year ago at this and i wanted to kind of give a bit of an update on these sets did you invest in any of these sets what are your thoughts on how they are performing? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to have that discussion. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button when you're down there. We do have a free Lego investing Facebook group. So if you want to learn about Lego investing, then I definitely recommend checking out that free group. The link is in the description down below. So make sure you grab that link and get in on the action. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'm Shane from BrickBucks.net and I will see you in the next one.